My name is Rick Connect, and I'm an archaeologist from the University of Aberdeen, and I'm principal investigator of the project. New Nalik site uh, was originally um, a village, but it was a village with really unusual architecture. It's one of the first large-scale excavations of um, late prehistoric Yupik culture. And we're seeing things that um, people remember from their childhoods, but in fact have long since been taken to museums or picked up by collectors. And they're actually items um, that were in use every day 100 years ago, which have become very rare now. Archaeologically, it gives us by far the best look we've ever had at Yupik culture before Russian contact. The site dates between 1300 and about uh, 1650. And so uh, because of that preservation, we're getting things that normally you just see in museum collections. We've got masks and bentwood bowls and uh, ooze with the wooden handles still tied on. Uh, we're, we've got uh, arrows with the feathers still lashed to them. Grass rope that was used to make uh, dog harnesses, that kind of preservation. So all of this has been a real revelation, and for the community, it's a chance to get back in touch with their traditional culture. And in fact, this project was the idea of uh, Kinirtuk Incorporated, the village corporation of Quinhawk, who called us in here to save artifacts that were being washed out of the site and appearing on the beach um, for, for a couple reasons. They, they didn't want to lose those things, but they also wanted to reintroduce young people to traditional culture and the knowledge that goes with it. And so um, elders uh, have a chance to reacquaint themselves and their children with tangible remains of their heritage.